Hello and welcome. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Um, you can turn that off now. <laughs> right. Hello and welcome, as Marcus said. Um, what, what, what are we talking about? F2, that was it. We're we going to talk about F2. We're horrendously prepared today. We are the side pod. I know and I we do are this every single episode, but are we actually recording? We are. We are. Yes, we are. And is it working? Yes, it is. Fabulous. Technical geniuses over here. <sighs> PhDs in Zoom recording. Now, bear with us today, folks, because we've done about 35 seconds worth of prep for this episode, which is pretty standard. And really. probably the episode after this, if we even get that far. Are we going to do two today? Are we? I, I, I thought we were. So what are we talking about today? We're really well prepared. So right now, we're going to talk about F2. This is what I had oh, in yeah. my head. So... Okay, I'm going to try and lead this as you clearly are lost in your own thoughts. Um, Jeddah. 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 That's coming up. That's this weekend, right? Yeah. Okay, this weekend. Not that we really knew that. But you have been there. I've also been there, but I've not driven there. You have driven there. And mm. from what I understood, it was a shock for a lot of people. Yes. Well, uh, Jeddah was, for me, a traumatic experience in an F2 car. Physically or mentally? Physically. Uh, well, let's say there's highs and lows because I won in uh, in Jet my first F2 win. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Feature race or sprint race? Doesn't matter. I won. I think it was a sprint I race. I stood on the top step of the podium. All right. Um, and, but then the feature race was just horrendously physical. Um, Did you go soft hard, hard soft? Do you remember? Uh, I went... Soft hard. Okay, okay. But so you were probably better than some. <laughs> it made no difference, mate. I promise you, because there was zero tired egg. Yes. So it was like a constant grind from start to finish. As we are not technically screaming meals, there is no shot for tired egg. Yeah, thankfully. Um, so we actually increased the caster. So for those at home who don't oh, understand no. the um, oh, no. the the theory of caster, um, <laughs> the dreaded caster. If you increase the caster on your steering geometry. Yes. The steering just becomes heavier, which is okay in F1 because you have power steering, but in F2 and IndyCar, you don't have power steering, so it's like... It becomes exponentially heavy. So imagine imagine turning, let's say you turn left, it'd be like turning with 60 kilos weighted. It's so heavy, especially in high speed. And Jeddah was extreme for this. Uh, Unfortunately, well, just high speed everywhere. Anyway, so we increased the caster for the feature race. And the point of increasing caster, which most engineers believe, but it depends on the car, is that it turns slightly better. So the trade-off is physically <sighs> versus turning. I honestly, I I would take that with a pinch of salt. I do take it with a pinch of salt. Every engineer I've ever had has said the same thing about, oh, you add more caster, you get more front, uh, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, I've never felt it, and it just makes the steering heavier, <laughs> so I hate it. And in Jeddah, for whatever reason, they increased the caster, and it was so physical. And obviously, the track is very high speed. Um, yeah, actually, adding on to that, um, how do you feel doing the radio checks at Jeddah with all those corner numbers? How many corner numbers? 27, isn't there? There's a lot. There's a lot. I, I, I get lost by about... Turn six. I'll tell you what, mate. <laughs> so the first time Ferrari ever tested Jetta on a simulator was with me. And yeah. I had no idea where the track went. And I had to do a radio check. Yeah, but well, you know when it's early on, it's like those car parks, isn't it? They don't have everything else. We're getting a FaceTime call from Clement Novala. I don't think we should answer that. I'll answer it just briefly. Oh, no, we're going to edit this. Continue. Yeah, what do you want me to continue with? He'll be drunk as a skunk. Um <laughs> <laughs> Clem, we're recording, mate. You're you're live on the side pod right now. Oh, get out of your <laughs> I was about to call you to record an episode of Clem's Wine Corner. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's another that's another version. But all right, I'll call you back later, Clem. <laughs> You've got some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's edited. That's gone. All right. Rory, Goodbye. help us. <laughs> Uh, that was not scripted, by the way. Anyway, moving on from our European counterparts. Before we delve too deeply into Jeddah, um, <laughs> I've just come back from Barber. Barber, yes. My Beautiful Barber. Very yes. very landscape, architectural. That big spider in the middle of the track. Oh, it's, it's bizarre. They've got like... So Barber's a track... What about the girl? In Alabama. 
Yeah, hanging, hanging. There's like a statue hanging from a bridge above one of the corners. It's so lifelike. I actually came on the radio on one of my runs and said, "Holy shit! There's, <laughs> some, there's someone literally hanging from the." I, I I think if we can we can send something to Rory, but um yeah, there is there is literally a little girl hanging from a bridge, which on an outlap, if the team don't tell you, is a shock. Um, it's a big big shock. But yeah, Barber. We'll try and get a photo. We'll throw it up. We on will the screen. Throw, it, throw it for you. But Barber, basically, the guy who owns Barber does a big artwork convention. Um, or, no, not convention, but he invites, I think, some of the universities or schools around to submit, like, sculptures and artwork. And the best one every year gets put around the circuit. Right, okay. That's why, I mean, there's some lakes around where there's people are upside down in, um, how would you say, like, life rafts and stuff. Or, I didn't see that. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, go and explore when we do the race, because it's quite, there's some good good stuff. And there is like the world's largest motorbike museum collection, yes, which yes. is beautiful if you love motorbikes. Well, it is like a motorcycle track. Which yes, it would be a tough one. Yeah, it'd be dangerous. <laughs> um, well, I was doing the test yesterday. Um, all the high-speed corners seem to go the same way. So similar to Jeddah, it's quite physical. Yes. My neck is hurting right now, if I, I'm honest. I would suggest the pad. For the race. Yeah, that's the thing. Like a pad, so most people put um what's the correct term? I don't know. They call it a beep pad, um, where you just rest your head and I didn't use it yesterday. So that was a massive strategic fuck up on my part. And to be fair, <laughs> like everyone in our team, all the drivers like Scott, for example, he would like take the piss out of me forever if I was using a beep pad. So um, my neck is so sore today. <laughs> but they they put it in anyway. No, or was Scott not using Scott it? Scott wasn't using it, mate. He's a real man. Mm. He's not like you, pal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but even like, so Yuri did his first IndyCar, t- or not his first one, second his second one. IndyCar test yesterday, and I have never heard him say that his neck was sore. Oh, for sure, he was dead. Yeah. There is no no chance that he was not dead. I mean, my first test there, I, I put like this third set of new tires and I couldn't turn. I bet. I, I could I not mean, turn. I look at your arms, mate. Mate, they're massive now. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is like a bullying. Like gang up on Callum Day. I'm, 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 I'm going to have to start giving it back. This is coming back. No, no, no. I don't I don't like the idea of that. Uh, but if, if you guys want to see what a real track is like, you should like start searching... Um, Barber Motorsports Park on YouTube for an onboard. I think there's a Paso Award on board. It's on iRacing as well if you guys have iRacing, if yeah. anyone wants Such to Such a it. cool track. It's like super high speed and lots of compression. It was a good day for me actually yesterday. I was I enjoyed it from start to finish. I probably not to finish because my neck was sore. Well, last. you went P1 in the morning. I wasn't, I think I was P3 in the morning maybe. He went P1 in the morning. We'll, we'll let him have that one. I only did seven laps. What? Yeah. What are you doing the rest of the time? Changing stuff or? Because uh, it was so cold in the morning, we just waited. Oh. Um, it's right. like an F2 run plan. Easy day, mate. Easy day. Uh, so, should we go back to Jeddah then? Because that's what the people want to hear about. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, Jeddah. So, hang on. Uh, where do we go from here? F2. Yeah, I know it was F2, but are we, are we going to talk about what we, th- what, what we expect for Jeddah or are we going to go back to past experiences of... Oh, let's go back to past experiences. What other experiences have you got, Jeddah? I think the main things that spring to mind is my race win. Yes, this congratulations. Thank you very much, everybody. Round Spread of applause. Race. Uh, Fake win. Clem Novlak, who just called me now, he took me out in the race afterwards. Which corner? To turn one. Oh, yeah, he dive-bombed. It was on the F2 Instagram this morning. He was laughing about it because he forgot he had carbon brakes, hit the brakes into turn one. And nothing happened. He just locked the rears and went straight into the back of me. So, Messi, classic F2 moment, really. Um, what's new? That was, I think, the same day as Porsche's massive accident when he stalled at the start. Do you remember that? Oh, when Enzo, Enzo yeah. just drilled him. Yeah, that was bad. Enzo had a cut on his head. But he do you know? Do well. you know why Porsche would have stalled on that start? Uh, was it the same reasons I stalled many, many times? No, no, no. Oh, it's another reason. So, in Jeddah, for some reason, they paint the track with, like, some... You've never raced there, right? No. I was there, but I wasn't... So, they paint... The, I think it's similar to NASCAR. They paint the track with some weird... I don't know what it is. Glue or the other way around? 
I don't know what it is, man, but it's like you can see it's been like painted because it's in okay. like strips, right? Yeah. And the grip it provides mm. is actually unbelievable. Like even like when Mick crashed last year. Yes. Uh, fabulous crash, by the way. I love the commitment. Um, well, it was the curb, wasn't it? Yeah, but he hit. He, so he hit the wall and he dragged all the shit onto the track and oil or whatever. And they went out there and repainted that area of the track. Oh. Yeah. To, oh. To give it like more grip, right? That could be why there's no dig. I I guess so. Yeah. Um, so on the start when you launch, it's the fastest start of the season by far. What? So we're talking like two point four. Yeah, I think I even went lower than that last year. No way. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Because normally you launch with like... Well, a good start is 2.7. If you launch with close to 26% throttle on a normal track, you can get away with like 36 on at Jetta. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it's just so much grip, which I know sounds like really specific to you guys. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what they also do in F2, for those of you that don't know, is they have a throttle map that you have to use for the starts, which like 0 to 24 three percent or something i think it's more like 24 anyway it doesn't matter it's too specific is zero to 24 so 23 is 23 21 is 21 but anywhere from 24 25 percent to about 90 percent would you say is an increase wait no hang on maybe i should just draw it and just put it on the screen for them to understand it it just goes straight up so at 30 percent you're pretty much at 70 percent So it's very, very specific. You have to be really good on the throttle, really. So basically, when you're at 40%, you're at 100% already. Yeah. That's that's the thing. So it goes uh, linear up and then boom. And there were a few things that people would do. Some would have some alarms on the steering wheel. Some would have some physical things. But yeah, trying to hold between 24% mm. to 32 mm. was the, the tactic. So you have to be very specific and it makes a massive difference at 1%. And the teams would break our balls for that well i won the race in Jeddah off the start basically because you know what it's like in f2 yeah. if you if you launch and you're in the lead by the first corner you're going to win control the field yeah um starts was always my strength in f2 for whatever reason like especially if i was starting alongside uh like jayhan <laughs> <laughs> i knew i'd have him before turn one which i hope he's learned at this point by year four, I'd expect the experience, yeah, like the Boshongs, the the Jayhans, the Porsches, all these blokes to be good on starts because it is all experience, isn't it? No. No? No. Yeah, well, I think... For hey, the experience helps, yeah, of holding it in the right place and the way you do things with the clutch, but, like, it's a preset bite point. Yeah, but so, you can fuck it up, man. Yeah, so can the engineer. But, I mean, I did the same thing every time, and it was like 3.2, 2.8, 3.1. lot blaming his engineer. <sighs> it's a tough day to be Callum. Hashtag bully Callum day. Hang on. Can we just remind you, P13? Kate agrees. P13. Oh, here we go. Always reverse. So, I can, still, I can still mess up the starts and finish ahead of that. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, exactly. So, let's talk about the overall winner here. You may have won the battle, <laughs> but I won the war, mate. Are we going to talk about our predictions for the race or not? I think so. Well, I mean, uh, after the first weekend, I mean, it could be an anomaly, but those ARTs are looking very strong. Just saying. Mm. Boshong last year was very strong there. I'd be willing to put... Until his right, I want to put some money on the line here. Um, oh, no. First push lap of free practice. After the first two push laps of free practice... Boshong. Boshong will be P1 by more than two and a half tenths. More than two and a half. After the first two push laps of, co- of FP. Look, I would agree with you, but of course, let's. Uh, I've got to go the other way, 50, haven't I? Then? $50? No, 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 no. That's an unfair That's an unfair advantage right here because I would agree with you, but I will do $10 for the... For the sake of the bet. For the sake of the bet. Okay. Is that acceptable? Uh, yes, okay. Sure, it's acceptable. $10, well let's yeah, do it. Okay. Right, FP. Okay, Boshong, domination. Um... First three push laps at least. Are we going to have a rise of Jack Doohan? Is he going to have a redemption arc? I believe so. I would hope so. I, I genuinely think so. I still have yet to ask Virtuosi what's happened. Or is it Invicta Virtuosi now? 
Uh, well, let's face it. Bahrain was weird. It was weird. Very weird. As we covered that on the last one. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Yes. <laughs> or listen to it. I think, as I mentioned in the previous episode, I think Jeddah will become a little bit more normal in the sense that you'll start to see the, the fast guys actually rise to the top. Not that they weren't at Bahrain. Like, there was still the Porsches and the Boshongs and whatnot up the but front. Actually, I have to say, it is a massively different circuit. You go from just all low-speed stuff to now high-speed everywhere, commitment. Yep. And in, well, in F2... Which, to me, screams MP. Front wing angle. Galore. You remember how fast Felipe was there last year? He five and a half tenths was it pole or was if, you, it if you haven't seen it you should go back and watch last year's quali because pu- 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 well I I'm P1 right and okay. there was like a whole bunch of red flags right so I use all my fuel and I can't do any more of the session so I jump out of the car and, and the TV watching camera and waiting. the TV camera is like in my face as I'm watching Felipe your like life get completely crushed completely dominate me like <laughs> like literally six tenths up after the first sector I think and I'm just like the TV camera's looking at me and I'm just like what do you want like what do you want from me yeah, yeah but I mean I again I don't know how much they change their car but they I remember that year that I was doing it that they would always come to certain circuits and just they ran the car so differently to everyone else that it just surprised Mm. They would, they would, and then they would go to another one and be a bit further down, and then they managed to. So what that. I understand, MP is very good in high speed. So a um, lot of front wing gets put on that car. Yes, uh, looks like an easier car to drive physically. If I'm honest, like there's no kickback. In yeah, the but steering. you're not fighting with the car for some reason. Yeah, you're just it's weird, resting isn't it? on it. Well, everyone says set up differently. Who was the quick there last year? Vershaw was quick there last year. To be fair to him, in the Trident. He oh was yes, very fast. I think he but, finished P two in the future race. He had big tired egg. I remember now, compared to other people, or was it physically? I I don't think because so. I don't blame him for the physical. No, I don't think so. I think he was, I think he was a little bit slower than Felipe on a long run, but he was still P two in the race. Yeah. So I my predictions. Let's say a feature race prediction, just to save the chaos of what the next five minutes will be. I think that an MP car will win. Okay. Uh, whether that's Dennis or Jay are we Hall. talking either feature race or sprint feature okay okay feature race I think an MP car will win okay and people are going to take the piss out of me because I'm always cheering for Jayhan but I think <laughs> one of the two MPs will win um Vershaw Peter I a Boshong podium is happening I think so as well for to sure be fair. are we in agreement for the first time ever I think we were in agreement before just with different things Right, oh, that's unbelievable. I don't think this has ever happened. Boshing podium is happening. I, I mean, I would disagree on the MP. Thing. I think that ART is still very strong and uh, Do you want to put some money on it. Why is it always down? To, oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Hang on. What? what the ART are going to win versus MP? Yeah. Okay. Another ten dollars. So you're putting ten dollars oh, on the fact that an ART. Where's my phone? Oh, it's here. Right. Hang on. Give me a sec. What's wrong? I, we keep forgetting what bets we actually make, so well, um, we have it on camera, pal. We yeah, I know, but I don't. I don't rewatch this stuff. Is this I just not do it once. Enough. <laughs> okay, so ten bucks. Right, so we got MP uh, versus ART to win. Oh, yeah. Okay. My money's on the MP car. And um, yeah, yeah, no, I know that. But what? Uh, what was the other one? What did we do earlier? See, I've forgotten already. I this, have I. What was it? Do you remember? Think now. Oh, Think. I've forgotten. Was it Palm? I've forgotten. I don't know. We're useless. Oh my god. Right. Anyway, we're, we're, we'll, can we'll someone watch. comment it for us when <laughs> when we rewatch this, and then I'll write it down, and we'll re remember. Anyway, there's ten dollars on the line. Chaos. This is. This is useless. I mean, this is our preparation down to a T. All right, so, uh, <sighs> we should do the rest of the field because all the other F2 drivers that are probably watching this will be like, Ooh, you want to talk about me now? Okay, so as I slated Clem, do you think he's going to improve in positions after Bahrain? Well, Trident was good there last year. Yes, right. So Clem, you're on, uh, points both races, please. I think he'll... Bring it back. I think he can be inside the top 10 in quali this week because he was P12 there in quali in 2021. Yes, he was in the truth. The year that he catapulted me off at turn one. Um, 
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> got, got some that? fans outside. Um, <laughs> so I think you'll be inside the top 10 in quality. So, Clem, don't disappoint me, please, mate. Um, you love the Carlins. You're always talking about the Carlins. I think they have a prediction. great car. I think they have a great car. Um, obviously, Maloney was super strong in Bahrain. I think that car is a it's a, always a rocket on the high speed stuff mm. so that would be good some I good disagree, breaking i disagree but okay that's right you don't have to agree with no, me finally we're back to normal um but i don't i don't think maybe they scratch a podium but i don't think they're gonna be both races top three top five kind of thing i think okay. they'll be there thereabouts okay uh, the premers. I guess by the time this is released, uh, the people will know that I'll be commentating the race this weekend. Will you be commentating on the Twitch race? Twitch <laughs> with James Blair. Oh, wow. Which will be awkward if uh, you don't go ahead and do it now. Hang on, what is the channel name? Because even I don't know. Have you made a Screaming Meals channel name? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll do an announcement in the next couple of days. Do you want me to host you so you get more views? Uh, I don't know. Well, what does that mean? That means you get some people off of my channel as well watching you. Fabulous. Okay. Would you like that? Yeah, that'd be great. Cool. I wonder if I can profit off of it. Uh, yep. Uh, all right. So, Premise. Premise, yeah. I don't even know who drives for them. Beerman and Vesti. That's right. How can we be running a podcast and you don't know who drives for them? I don't know. The Premers have been unextravagant in the last couple of months. So, Has Rene been unextravagant? Re- Rene is in Sebring right now. Rene, and he lost his luggage as well. Ugh. And then he was like, oh, do you know anywhere I can buy some clothes in Sebring? And no. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, mate. You can buy some underwear at Walmart. Um, Not even, I don't think. No. All right. <laughs> We've just slated Sebring now. Well, I, I mean, it's a great track for endurance GT cars. But anything else, your back's going to break. And there isn't much around it. Fabulous. There is absolutely nothing. Um, so we've got the Premers. Uh, name me another team. Dams will be strong, stronger than what they were in Bahrain. Well, I think I think Saudi Leclerc is this quick. Saudi will be Dams' strongest track. Like if they don't win here, or if they're not at least inside the top five here, I don't believe they'll be inside the top five anywhere. Like because I just think that because I won a race with Dams there. Yeah, and but they're looking stronger this year. Last compared year, to last year no last year they looked good with Iwaza oh yeah with Iwaza yeah what is, oh, it's been so many years now I've been out of it there's for been so, long. so many years oh quote. I'm so old I went from being young to you old you are old you even got a bit of a beard going on today just for you do we want to continue this torture and I think they enjoy this I don't know I, I mean I, I know we get lost in our own thoughts but I think they actually enjoy us just blabbering. I have a flight to catch soon, so we need to crack on and do this F1 do episode. It. Okay, well, that that's 23 minutes, so we could call it there. Boom. Um, so anyway, that was a load of nonsense about F2. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope we made some logical sense because... Nothing. Yeah, nothing really. We do. We did have an agreement on the first three positions in the feature race. That's, that's a start. That's, that's more than we... Yeah. And if we're right, I'm going to make a virtual handshake deal with all of you viewers... That if it is that one, two, three, that we that we well, I I have to bring two Starbucks for the next next uh, what are we what are okay. episodes? If I'm right on the next, so it's going to be an MP for sure, Boshong and Quali. You're going to dress up as a clown on the next episode. Can I do the nose and the hair? Is that okay? No, full full clown outfit. I will. Full I clown will provide outfit. the outfit. I'll go and buy it for you. Fuck. Um, okay, you know what? For the entertainment, we'll do it. Idiot didn't even put a counter on. So even if I lose, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, lose, no, no, you have to do it as well. Win, win for me, pal. I'll bring the costume then. All right, cool. All right, thanks, guys.